Right now, we are in the city of Lucerne, still in Switzerland. We're gonna explore the old town and some of the historical places in this area. Lucerne is the capital of the canton of the same name in central Switzerland, lying on the Rus River. The city's name was derived from the Benedictine Monastery of St. Leo de Gar, or Luciaria, founded in the 8th century. From the nearby fishing village grew a city, probably chartered about 1178, whose inhabitants were originally serfs of the monastery. After the opening of the St. Gotthard Pass around 1230, Lucerne developed into an important trade center between the Upper Rhine and Lombardy. In 1291, the monastery and city were purchased by Rudolf IV of Habsburg, also called Rudolf I of Germany, against the will of the citizens who desired independence. Political instability and Rudolf's successors led Lucerne in 1332 to join the alliance formed by the cantons of Uri, Schwyz, and Unterwalden in 1291. The group won independence after the Battle of Sempach in 1386 against the Habsburg army. By 1415, Lucerne had acquired most of the territory of the present canton by either treaty, armed occupation, or purchase. It became the leader of the Catholic cantons at the Reformation and was the seat of the Papal Nuncio from 1579 to 1874. The city's aristocratic regime was compelled to abdicate in 1798 under the onslaught of the Napoleonic armies. For a time, Lucerne was also the capital of the Helvetic Republic, resuming its status as the cantonal capital in 1803. Divided into two parts by the Rus River, which is crossed by seven bridges within the town, with the oldest being the Chapel Bridge, Lucerne has one of the most picturesque settings in Switzerland. The old town on the right bank is distinguished by well-preserved 14th-century town walls, the Museg, with nine watchtowers, quaint alleys, and squares, with medieval, renaissance, and baroque houses. Now since we are on the right side, let's take a walk and let me tell you some of the interesting sights within the old town. Here's Schenplatz. Situated since the late Middle Ages, it is once a narrow alley with a pig market. It was moved in front of the Basler Tor around 1545. After a fire, two houses were demolished in 1555-56. to 56 creating a new place with interesting fresco paintings on its surrounding buildings. Zoom Storzen Built in the first half of the 16th century as the St. Anna Inn and was rebuilt several times. The facade painting was done by Eva Fowley in 1985. In 1984 and 85, it was partially rebuilt and restored. Pfeiffer Clues House Built around the middle of the 16th century for Schulte Sis Jos Pfeiffer Clues. There is a late Gothic stair tower and a small walled courtyard on the back. It was listed as a historical monument since 1964 and restored in 76 and 87. Wine Marked until the 16th century, it was a fish market. The medieval shawl was replaced by a two-story wooden market hall selling meat, bread, and leather. The square in its present form was built in 1481. Stonemason Conrad Lux created the late Gothic Wayne Market Fountain in the same year. In the Middle Ages, the fish market was the political center and the first town hall stood at its southwest corner until 1447. The square was lined with the drinking rooms of the societies of butchers, tanners, shoemakers, and innkeepers. Von Laufton House 
built in 1557 after demolishing two houses in front. In 1887 to 88, it was combined with a neighboring house to the south. Neo-Gothic square frontage with Neo-Renaissance paintings by Louis Weintgartner and Albert Benz in 1891. Listed as a historical monument since 1981 and restored around 1978 and 79. Corn Marked and Rat House First mentioned in 1356, Corn Marked was the grain marketplace of the city until the 19th century. The ground floor of the town hall or rat house served as a grain storage from 1438 and from 1447 on the upper parts of the building served as a town hall. Today, the city administration is located on the other side of the river but there are still some official activities, such as marriage ceremonies. Zum Weizenkreuz It was first mentioned in 1495 in Lucerne's municipal files on June 27, 1495. No other inn still exists today can prove it was mentioned as early as the 15th century. It is the oldest inn in the city of Lucerne which still exists today under its historical name. International War and Peace Museum of Lucerne Founded by Jan Block, a Polish industrialist and peace activist as a warning against war's destructive forces, the War and Peace Museum was inaugurated in 1902 on the very spot where the KKL is today. In 1910, the museum was moved into a new building designed by architect Emil Vogt at Musikstrasse, next to the old walls. Later on, the building was transformed into a museum of the trades. Since 1957, it is a schoolhouse and is actually part of the Pedagogy Educational Center of Musik. Kapellplatz with Fritzi Brunin the square owes its name to St. Peter's Chapel, situated between the square and the bridge. The chapel was the first church inside town, but it always remained dependent to the Hof Church Monastery and never became a parish church. Today, Catholic services in foreign languages are held in this chapel. Another attraction in the square is the Fritzi Fountain built in 1918. The fountain stands in the tradition of much older Renaissance-style fountains with painted allegoric figures on top. Legendary Brother Fritzi plays an important role in Lucerne's carnival tradition. Brother Fritzi's grave is supposed to be under this fountain, on the medieval graveyard attached to the St. Peter's Chapel. No one knows who Brother Fritzi really was. The legend goes back to around 1450, and the most probable explanation is that there was a farmer or farmhand living outside town, making jokes whenever he came to town. Medieval town clerk and cronies Cizat reported that Fritzi left some money to the Saffron Guild on condition that they serve wine to the during Fasakt. The guild is still fulfilling this obligation today and has dedicated one store of their guild rooms in Ulliturm to Brother Fritzi. After his death, Brother Fritzi remained very popular and was portrayed in many different ways. Among others, a figure made of straw with the features of an old man represented him. In earlier centuries, groups of young people from other member towns of the old Swiss Confederacy used to visit one of the other towns about once a year, have some sports competition, and drink lots of beer and wine. Spryer Bridge One of the oldest bridges in the city, built around 1400. Its most iconic features are the 67 paintings of the Dance of the Dead by Caspar Meglinger, painted around 1626 to 35. Check out the description below for the full video of the bridge. Lion Monument It 
is a giant dying lion carved out of a wall of the sandstone rock above a pond at the east end of the medieval town. It was designed as a memorial for the mercenary soldiers from central Switzerland who lost their lives while serving the French king Louis XVI during the French Revolution. For a more detailed history, look at the description below for the link. Mosaic Wall and Towers Lucerne city ramparts are among the few remaining fortresses in Swiss towns that have not yet fallen prey to the 19th century growth. Here you can explore some of the nine towers and learn the history of the walls in a farm where you can interact with farm animals. For more information, please check out the description below for the link. Kasern and Platz During the Middle Ages, the small town ended at this area, with the Spreuer Bridge bridgehead and the Basler Tor or Basel Gate as fortifications. Today, the square is open wide with beautiful old wooden houses and a heavy traffic approaching and leaving the city. Both on a highway and four-lane expressway branch, connected to the pan-European expressway from Germany to Italy. So that's it for the short history of Lucerne and some of the historical sites to see in the city. It is really a beautiful city located in the heart of Switzerland, with stunning views of the surrounding mountains and the famous Lake Lucerne. With its rich history and cultural heritage reflected in its old town. We're saying goodbye to Lucerne. Until next time, guys. Bye. So, guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Come on, guys, hit the bell. For notifications. And don't forget to share. And like.